Chapter 167 Seventh level of the Jidan stage A dozen or so of Yan Yan's men were like moths to a flame, instantly flying away. Kang Tion looked indifferent as he took a step out and instantly appeared in front of Yan Yan, his stern gaze shooting over like a blade. Everyone instantly closed their breaths. At this moment, the after-effects of Yan Yan's self-detonation of his inner Dan had erupted. His entire body's true essence had disappeared into thin air. All the limbs and veins in his body had been shattered, and he was no different from an invalid. Kill me. Lord Wushuang will avenge me. Yan Yan's face was deathly grey, with only unwilling hatred and endless curses in his eyes. When he blew up his nine transformation golden pill, he had never thought of coming down alive, because unless a quasi-immortal of the Mahayana stage molded his meridians and regrouped his inner pills, otherwise he would be an invalid for the rest of his life, and this would make his life worse than death. As you wish. Looking at Yan Yun, who was struggling to stand up at his feet, Kang Chion's eyes didn't fluctuate in the slightest. Since he was an enemy, he wouldn't let go of him and the only way to get the other party's storage bag was to kill them. Swish, a brilliant blade flashed by. In the palpitating gazes of the crowd, ruthlessly chopping towards Yin Yun, who stood up. Everyone fell silent for a while. Even the strongest on the subterranean dragon list were in danger of falling. Their hearts trembled, and they felt like applying for exit immediately after entering the Yuan Ying, stage space lest they lose their lives in the Heavenly Dao Demon Sealing List. Wong Fei and Li Yuanba's faces were ugly. They naturally didn't care about Yen Yun's death. But a strong person at the same level as them dying in front of them, this made them feel a little sad that the rabbit had died. Especially Wong Fei. He still remembered the matter of Kang Chion asking him for the three transformation golden pill, just now. Undoubtedly, with Kang Tion such a powerful talent, if his cultivation speeds up by a few more levels, I'm afraid that apart from the existence of the top 10 of the submerged dragon ranking, no one would be his opponent. Honestly speaking, Wong Fei was unwilling to hand over the three turns golden pill, but looking at Yan Yun's downfall, at this moment, his face suddenly sank. Boom, right at this moment, a strange change occurred. A powerful intention erupted from Yan Yun's body, and then it transformed into a proud silhouette. As soon as this silhouette appeared, it only lightly waved its hand, and then it shattered the blade awnings that Kang Chion had casually chopped out. Afterwards, this silhouette coldly scanned Kang Chion in front of him. Wow! Everyone instantly cried out in shock, their faces incredulous as they looked at the shadow that had suddenly appeared. Li Yuanba and Wong Fei also cried out in shock. This shadow was more than familiar to them. It was that strong person who made them tremble at the mention of his name. Kang Chon's eyes narrowed as he stared intently at this shadow. To be able to form with intent, this had comprehended at least 50% of intent. This alone was enough to stand proudly against the crowd. One must know that even amongst the Yuanying stage, those who were able to comprehend 50% of their thoughts were rare and powerful. This person in front of him had comprehended at least 50% of the realm's ideas at the Jidan stage, which was enough to show the power of his talent. Even if Kang Chion had received many strange encounters, he had only comprehended 30% of the ideas now. If he were to face this person's real body, I'm afraid that if the other party had a single intent pressure, Kang Chion would be defeated. 50% of intentions could already break through the body and attack. This kind of attack specialized in harming divine ideas. Even if Kang Chion's fleshly body was incomparably strong, he would not be able to withstand this attack from his intentions. Good boy. It really didn't occur to me that there were still existences at the Jidan stage that comprehended 50% of intent. The youths of your generation are really too strong. The Dan Emperor's exclamation came from his mind. Even a strong person like him could not help but be surprised. If it were to be a previous generation, with a talent like Kang Chan's coupled with his natural talents, he would definitely be the number one person of the young generation. 
But right now, within just the Heavenly Tao sex realm, so many strong youths had appeared, one more than the other. It was shocking. Could this be a wind and cloud, heyday not encountered four billions of years? Emperor Dan speculated in his heart, in the past, it would have been extraordinary for a genius with a special bloodline to appear in the cultivation world. But now that so many geniuses had appeared in just a single great tank country, this was definitely not normal. Boom, a huge pressure rumbled down. The silhouette above Yen Yun's head stared indifferently at the heavens, and a passage of intent containing words converged from all sides like a torrent, spreading throughout the entire plaza. Kneel down, submit, and I will spare your life. An icy, oppressive, and indifferent voice resounded in the square, a supreme pressure spreading down from the sky. Everyone in the square immediately felt their bodies trembling, but any cultivator below the seventh level of the Jiden stage couldn't even stand up. It's Wu Shuang, surprisingly. It's Wu Shuang. Wu Shuang actually left his intention on Yan Yun, worthy of being the second-ranked existence on the subterranean dragon ranking. The square was in an uproar as everyone cried out in shock. Even Li Yuanba and Wang Fei were filled with tremors. Surprisingly, it was Wu Shuang. No one had expected that Wu Shuang had left a thought to be sent on Yan Yun. It seemed that this Yan Yun was highly valued by Wu Shuang. Kang Chon stared at the silhouette above Yan Yun's head with a grave expression. And for the first time, there was pressure in his heart. He had thought that amongst the same level, there was no one who was his opponent. But this Wu Shuang had made him realize that he might not be able to win against the other party, even amongst the same level. This was an opponent that was even more powerful than Zhao Wuji. Kneel, submit, or die, the cold, majestic, and indifferent voice came once again. Kang Chon's eyes instantly condensed. A supreme overbearing intent rushed up to the sky. He held a long black blade, and he locked all of his true essence into it. Blazing light erupted out from above the black blade, and then transformed into a brilliant blade on towards the virtual shadow, above Yen Yun's head asterisk 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 asterisk. Hiss. Everyone sucked in a mouthful of cool air. Kang Chon was simply too strong. Even when facing Wu Shuang, who was ranked second on the subterranean dragon ranking list, he didn't care in the slightest. Boom. The matchless blade ruthlessly slashed at the virtual shadow. The virtual shadow instantly roared out in anger. Yet even if he was peerless, it was only an idea. How could he be Kang Chon's opponent? With just one slash, the light of the virtual shadow dimmed and began to slowly disappear. Very well dare to challenge my locked demon tower is your grave. An indistinct phrase came out and the shadow slowly dissipated. Ha ha ha. Unless you apply to exit after entering the Yuanian space, you will surely die. Yan Yan laughed out loud, but his laughter came to an abrupt end as a brilliant blade on asterisk 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 came and brought up his head to fly high. I do not fear any challenge. Kang Chon indifferently looked at the collapsed Yan Yan and slowly put away the long black blade before putting away Yan Yan's storage bag as well. The square was immediately shaken. Everyone stared at the purple clothed youth in the field with excitement and excitement. This was a young powerhouse who dared to challenge the peerless. They somewhat couldn't wait to head to the Yuanian space. It was obvious that before the demon locking tower, there was bound to be a peak battle. Would Wu Shuang continue to perpetuate the myth? Or would the heavens create a miracle? Since you're looking for death yourself, it saves us from having to do it. Li Yuanba glanced at Kang Chong from afar. His figure quietly passed away. He was going to inform his companions of this news. With Wu Shuang taking action, there was no need for them to fight to the death. On the square, Kang Chong gave Li Yuanba a disdainful glance and did not make a move. Despite the guarantee of the state lord, he still did not want to overly provoke the Li family. Otherwise, once the Li family fought desperately to kill, his maternal grandfather would be in danger. Therefore, as long as Li Yuanba did not provoke him, he would not kill Li Yuanba. At this moment, 
Kang Chong's icy gaze looked at Wong Fei and coldly said, Do you want a hundred extreme spirit stones, or the three transformation golden Dan? His eyes were filled with killing intent. Since he had already offended Wu Shuang, he had to raise his cultivation as soon as possible. Whoever dared to obstruct him at this time, he would do whatever it took. Feeling Kang Chong's icy cold eyes, Wong Fei's body trembled. Then he smiled awkwardly and said, Brother Kang Chon is really powerful. This third transformation golden pill is given to you by Mr. Wong. Saying that, a golden elixir was thrown by him. Kang Chon caught it with one hand and then took out a hundred extreme spirit stones from Yen Yun's storage bag and threw it to Wong, Fei. Indifferently saying, I will not pay any attention to the matter between you and Wong Shan, so feel free to rest assured. After saying that, Kang Chon and Wong Shan left together. Just now, Kang Chon had asked Wong Shan if he wanted to kill Wong Fei. He could see that these two had hatred. But unexpectedly, Wong Shan did not agree. He wanted to behead Wong Fei himself. Since this was the case, Kang Chon wouldn't force him. Anyway, the spirit gathering fruit and the three revolutions golden pill had already arrived and he was going to be in seclusion for the rest of the time to cultivate. Wong Fei stared grimly at Kang Tian and the two of them as they left, his eyes flickering constantly, not knowing what he was thinking. With Kang Tian's departure, everyone in the square began to slowly disperse, they still had to go and deliver the news. In this battle, Kang Tian would become famous in one fell swoop. Magma, magma everywhere, scorching torrents everywhere, in the middle of this fiery red world. There were only a few narrow pieces of land, the rest were all constantly flowing magma. In the middle of this scorching world, no Jidan stage cultivator could last long, and cultivators below the Jidan stage were afraid that they would be directly evaporated within a month. The temperature within this space was too high. Rumble, a volcano erupted violently, and then a scorching torrent rose up into the sky, the terrifying sound shaking the heavens and the earth. However, above this terrifying torrent, a blood-red figure stood proudly, its entire body exuding a supreme pressure. Yan Yan is dead, and the intent I left behind has also dissipated. In the Jidan stage space, how dare someone challenge me? The heavens, I'm curious. A cold voice resounded in the sky, and then the blood-red figure transformed into a blazing light and went away from the sky asterisk 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 asterisk. Roar, suddenly, in the midst of the scorching magra, a dozen terrifying demonic beasts rushed up into the sky, pouncing towards that blood-colored figure as terrifying forces stirred in the sky. These dozen of demonic beasts were surprisingly all at the ninth level of the Jidan stage realm. Their strength was terrifyingly powerful, and when they joined forces, even Yuanying stage powerhouses would have to retreat. HMPH. However, with a cold snort and the powerful intention instantly arriving, these dozen of powerful demonic beasts directly exploded in the sky, turning into a piece of flesh and blood that fell into the magma. The blood-red figure did not stop for half a moment and directly disappeared into the sky. Between the misty clouds, in a white palace, a dozen powerful and magnificent figures sat and stood here, each exuding an incomparably powerful aura, like a star in the sky. Above the plaque of this palace, three large golden characters shimmered and glowed. Heavenly Dao Palace. The Heavenly Dao Palace, this was the center of power of the Heavenly Dao sect and the symbol of the Heavenly Dao sect. Only the Heavenly Dao sect sealed elders could come here. At this moment, the Heavenly Dao sect's patriarch then appeared in the hall with a dozen or so sealed elders, and they looked at a four-sided crystal body in the center of the hall, their complexions filled with astonishment. On top of this four-sided crystal body, the scene presented was precisely the scene in which Kang Tian had powerfully killed Zhen Yun and had annihilated Wu Shuang with his sword. As the young powerhouses on the potential dragon ranking, each and every one of them received the attention of the Heaven's Path Sect senior management, so ever since the Heaven's Path Sect acceptance ceremony had begun, 
the Heavens Path Sex Sovereign and a dozen or so sealed elders had been paying attention to them at this point in time. Of course, things like this only existed in this session of the Heavenly Tao Sex Apprentice Ceremony. And in previous sessions of the Apprentice Ceremony, there was only one seal elder paying attention.